Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. We're going to do something a little bit different. This is a figure I picked up probably, oh, it could be anywhere between 6 and 12 months ago, and uh, really wanted to open it. As most of you probably know, Plo Koon is a favourite of mine. He is my favourite, favourite Jedi. And uh, it's sort of just, you know, got to me in the last sort of 6 to 12 months when I realised that I don't have all the Plo Koon figures there are. Um, so I've started a little bit of a side quest in my in my collecting thing. We all have a little side quests. I think it's important to, um, you know, rather than just focus on what's coming out now, what's coming out in three months, you know, making sure we get all the pre-orders in. It's cool to backtrack a little bit and, uh, you know, track down things that we, uh, we've missed over the years. And, uh, you know, someone who has missed a lot over the years, um, it's, it's always good to go back and find some rare treasures. So I did buy this one. Um, originally I think I intended to keep it sealed, um, just to, you know, get a little bit of a Plo Koon collection going, but the bubbles, you know, it's not showing on camera too much, but it's quite yellow, um, and it's just, hasn't really stood the test of time, you know, this is, uh, this is 2005, so we're talking 18 years now, since this one come out, and this was at a time... I wasn't buying too many figures around Re Re Revenge of the Sith, you know, sort of in that weird, weird place of, you know, coming into adulthood, um, leaving school, getting a job. Um, so toys weren't really sort of on the radar then. It wasn't for a couple of more years that I started getting back into it a little bit more. So, you know, some really great figures in this line uh, from Revenge of the Sith. Um, a lot of these I still haven't picked up. I do have a Magna Guard from the Vintage Collection. Commander Bly I have. I think I have the Wookiee Commando. I have a Gree. I think I have a different version of Passel Argente. That's one I do need. The Cat Min. There was another one like that. Um, yeah, Nemoidian Commander. R4P17. Hologram of uh, Ayla Secura. Wookiee Heavy Gunner is one I definitely don't have. Tactical Ops Trooper. They did lots of great figures in Revenge of the Sith. And some strange ones too, like the Nemoidian Commander. They had like the Lava Pit Mining Droid. Um, so yeah, if I can fire my scissors. I do have a pair down here. We'll, um, we'll, try, and, we'll try and open this one up nicely. This is what I have done in the past with some of the bubbles and stuff. Just, you know, these ones are just sort of a, a wrap around um, for the most part. And again, over the years, I haven't opened up many Revenge of the Sith cards. Again, it all sort of comes undone up here where it all sort of sticks to the front of the card. So I'm just going to go in and get him out and we do have the little the little brochure in here which is cool take a look at this you know, Obi-Wan Anakin Yoda Chewbacca Wookiee Rage and did have some sort of strange play features some of them quick draw force combat lightsaber attack Palpatine, speeder bikes. Would love to get the Boga. That'd be cool. On the back, a tactics. Far out, remember those. Galactic heroes. Force battlers. They always, done, always had those little gimmicky toy lines, haven't they? I think the Galactic Heroes was pretty popular back then, though. They replaced them with uh, Jedi Force or something like that. But that's cool. I hang on to these. I like I like these little catalogs. It's cool to re sort of refer back to them later. So here we've got Plo Koon. And I'm just going to cut the tape there on the lightsaber. interesting that the uh, that they use a you know a lightsaber but I guess it's part of the play features of the of the toy isn't it so 
nice and packed nice and tightly in there. We got the display stand, which did do a lot of ease with the uh, Revenge of the Sith figures. They do sort of connect and link together in some ways. There's a peg on there, which is nice. 2004 LFL Hasbro China. We get a look at Plo here. Now, if I'm pretty sure it's just a recasting of the power of the Jedi Plo Koon, which was the first version of him. There's a little bit of a tackiness to the plastic. I'm guessing that's just the age. It starts to get a little bit of a oily tackiness to it. Um, but probably a, a good hot soak in some in some hot water won't to give it a, won't be a bad idea. That's what I'm trying to say. So he's just got a swivel, swivel at the top, bottom of the neck, swivels at the shoulders, and at the elbows, just a swivel. So that's why I'm thinking it's the uh, power of the Jedi Plo Koon, just recast in clear, clear blue plastic. Again, power of the Jedi one is one I don't have. So um, yeah, in my little Plo Plo quest, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find that one. But yeah, not sure whether I'm going to have him holding his lightsaber or not. You can sort of see the sculpting on there. It's pretty nice. Again. It's, uh, they're, they're sort of interesting figures, these ones. The holograms. I've, I don't know if I've got another one, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've, you know, it's been 18 months since I've had my collection out and I haven't had a good look through. So this may, in fact, be my first hologram figure, um, aside from like the Force Ghosts, which are very similar, like the Force Spirits. But yeah, I think this one might be my first uh, first hologram, which is which is kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to sort of rush out and get any more of them, but um, yeah, been hanging on to this one for a little while, and uh, like I said, the the plastic, you can sort of see the see the way it's yellowed, just looking through the window there. Um, and that probably shows more on camera than, than it did before when he's in the packaging. Um, so yeah, I kind of just decided a long time ago to open it up and finally got to it this week. So I thought, why not do a little video a cracking open some nice, some cool old, old stuff. Yeah, it displays on the stand quite nicely. I might just keep his lights over there. See if that unpegs. It might. I'm not gonna force it out. I think it it should probably will. But it's just been in there for that long, you know, when talking nearly 20 years. It's been been stuck together. But uh, that's okay. I'm gonna take him and give him a Good soak in a hot sink with some soapy water. Try and get some of that tackiness off of him. It's it's mainly just the uh, just the sort of the softer plastic of the uh, outer robe here. But yeah, that's cool. I'll say I am a fan. I'm glad I picked him up. It was pretty cheap. Like I picked it up on eBay. It was pretty cheap. Um, it's the peg hole. But not bad at all. What do you guys think? Should I uh, get a couple more holograms? I don't know. I think they'd be kind of be cool sort of um, you know, situated around a, a war table or something like that for like a Revenge of the Self, Revenge of the Sith, like a Jedi Council meeting or something like that. And, you know, have some holograms while they're off fighting and the peg doesn't really want to stay on there all too well. But. I don't know. definitely be tempted to uh, pick up a few more. Like I said, there's a uh, Ayla on the back. <laughs> yeah, Stan really doesn't like it. That's cool. But yeah, he doesn't have the lightsaber there and looks looks kind of nice. So 
Number 66 from the line. Do so you miss the old movie lines? So there, Jedi Master Plo Koon is a member of the Jedi Council and comes from a long line of Jedi. Serving as a general in the Clone Wars, he leads a squadron of Republic Starfighters against the Separatist forces on Kato and Moya. And I am a firm believer that he had an ejector seat and he was fine. Yeah, he might have got a little bit scratched up, but um, yeah, he was fine. That's, that's in my head canon. He was fine. <laughs> Alright folks, I'm going to let it end there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just something a little bit different. I'm just waiting on the mailman to deliver some some new goodies to me. So we'll see how long that takes. Australia Post could take forever. Who knows? All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your time. And, uh, see you in the next one. May the force be with you always.